Hi everybody, ML Toys here, continuing our video series on how to select the right power wheels. This video is going to be about batteries. Most power wheel vehicles, and we say power wheels generically here, have a 12 volt battery in them. This is a power wheels brand battery. Uh, there are 6 volt vehicles out there. They generally will not handle modifications well. If you're looking to modify a car, please start out with a 12 volt one or you're going to be in a world of expense that would have been a lot more than just going out and getting a 12 volt one to start. See our other vid videos that'll help you select which one would be right for your need. Uh, we do make our own 12 volt battery. Now, there's more to voltage than just voltage in a battery. There's also the amperage of a battery. The amperage determines the runtime. Uh, for instance, this battery is 9.5 amps, and we like to think of that as gallons of gas, so nine and a half gallons of gas. Our battery is 12 gallons of gas. Uh, so you'll get more runtime on the same battery. Then there's 18 volts. 18 volts is a very popular upgrade. It's not too fast for most kids and uh, very inexpensive uh, mid-grade upgrade for it. Uh, there's that form of 18 volts that we're gonna get into in a second, but I just wanna mention 24 volts, the most popular, the most recommended way to get the most speed without having to constantly work on your car. Now, let's go back over here. This is 18 volts of lithium battery. What the difference is when you use a lithium battery is it discharges the battery much quicker into the vehicle. What that does is it provides a big jolt. And look, if you've got power tools and you switched over from the old NICAD nickel metal hydride battery to lithium batteries, same voltage, but you notice your power tool's got a lot more oomph to it. It does the same thing to your power wheels and that jolt tends to burn out the switches and the motors and the gears. We've come up with a solution to this, a power wheel, a, a voltage regulator uh, a lot of people use, that just turns down the voltage, even if you turn down that voltage to 12 volts or 10 volts, it still has that initial punch to it. This is what we call a soft start module. What this module is going to do is re uh, make the, the initial discharge of the battery shorter. You still have the same top speed, but for the first two seconds, it ramps up the power. The other nice thing about this is, for instance, this is a cheap eBay battery. It does not have an automatic shutoff when the voltage gets low. A regular SLA style battery, which is what these are, sealed lead acid, when they run low, uh, it's okay. They'll just, the car is gonna get slow and it's gonna stop. When a lithium battery runs too low, it won't take a charge again. And in worst case, it can puff up and burst into flames. Flames are generally bad. So this has a built-in low voltage cutoff that works for both 18 and 20 volt batteries. Uh, this works with Power Wheels brand batteries, uh, vehicles, Kid Tracks vehicles, and peg, most Peg Perego vehicles. Um, so make sure you read the instructions, install it properly, and run it that way. Motors we talked about in another video, I just want to touch base. Make sure you use the right motor with the right voltage. 550 motors are for 12 volts. 775 motors are for 24 and 18 volts. 18 volts only if you're running the proper stuff with it. Amperage gives you more runtime. Now, amperage, increasing that amperage also does increase the punch of the battery. So we don't recommend going over 18 amps on a battery at most. Um, and your lithium battery, as you see here, lithium batteries, most people don't realize, that says 6.5. That's 6.5 gallons of gas, and that's a pretty thick battery right there. Most power tool batteries also will not give your kid the runtime that they want, and they certainly don't want to have to be going back to you when they're stuck out in the yard to switch out batteries. So we still recommend the SLA batteries over the lithium. We know a lot of folks are doing it. We're making these adapters to try to make it happen. We, uh, we love seeing that the lithium technology is coming along but this is a technology that's still in its infancy. So make sure you understand your risk when you are modifying your vehicles. 